do get the opportunity to bang on about all things natural and holistic whenever I get the chance. Anyway, um, thank you very much for inviting me to speak about my new venture, which really came about because I am absolutely passionate about holistic living and everything that that means, the whole mind, body, spirit. And for many years I've been running a website and you know, writing books and speaking and doing various things on holistic living, and I've become known, I suppose, as um, queen of um, recommendations for all things natural and natural beauty and skincare and cleaning and just about everything else. Um, but uh, it's only recently that I've kind of gone in touch with this other, well, I used to call it wearing my other hat, where I used to kind of help people and coach people who wanted to get their message out there or they wanted to perhaps be interviewed or whatever it might be and they knew they needed some skills with regard to um, putting themselves out into the media, getting more visibility, standing in the spotlight. And so I started doing a little bit of uh, coaching and uh, I used to say to people, oh yeah, but then with my other hat on, I help people get their, their message out there. And um, I don't know, sometimes you have those light bulb moments, don't you? And, and for me, the light came on and I thought, what on earth am I talking about? This is absolutely all connected. There are so many people that have holistic businesses, that work with their passion, that have a heart-centered business, or a desire to have. Um, and they're the people I want to help, because the more they shine their light, um, the more holistic the world is for everybody. So um, it didn't take very long to kind of um, get my act together and, uh, and launch my new project, which is um, Holistic Business Success, and it's PR and media skills, loosely for anyone with a heart-centered business, so holistic professionals and really anyone working with their passion. Um, and the reason I think it's possibly slightly different from, well, it's very different from any other kind of business course. It's very much um, looking at how you get yourself out there, how you get yourself to stand in the spotlight. But we have, you know, such gems as um, visualization and sort of uh, interviews with a leading TFT and NLP expert and, and all of that kind of stuff involved. So hopefully it's coming from that perspective, really. So um, it, I'm just very excited to share with you the kind of people I, I'm working with. It's been very exciting already. We have a, a private Facebook group, and some of the connections that are kicking off are absolutely wonderful. Um, I mean, as you probably know, Bill Gates famously once said, if I only had one dollar left, I'd spend it on marketing. Um, and of course, that, if you are a therapist or a practitioner, or perhaps you're even just starting out, can seem terrifying, actually. And many people who work from their heart and their work with their passion, actually are really very scared of words like PR. Um, it, because it's got a bad rap, you know, it can have, can't it? And um, that people tend to think that PR is, you know, spin doctors and people trying to cover up what they don't want you to know. And of course there is some of that, it's fair to say, isn't it? <laughs> she says looking at... I'm not blaming Lynn. I'm not blaming Lynn. Why am I, I even beginning to talk about PR when you have Lynn standing there? Um, but, you know, but on the other hand, it, if PR is authentic, if you have an authentic message to share, then there's nothing more wonderful than getting that message out there. And that's what I'm just so passionate about, helping people who have that desire to be in the spotlight. And what's been interesting for me as I've met various people, and it is, it is mostly women, um, they'll, sometimes they'll say to me, well, um, I have a client list, so I'm doing okay, you know. Um, I, in a sense, I'm not sure I really need this because I've got my client list. And then I'll say, okay, well, fantastic, but is there anything else you'd like to do? Have you got any kind of burning desire within you for anything else? Would you like to get your message out to a wider audience rather than just the whatever it is, eight people in a day you can treat, you know, if you're doing a dollar per hour kind of uh, model. And then they'll say, often they'll say, well, I've always wanted to write a book. Like, oh, right, you have, have you? Okay, so let's get the book out. Um, and they do say there's a book in all of us, and that's one of the things that's um, been very exciting with a couple of people I've already worked with, is they're already at the, uh, you know, book is now planned, a couple of chapters written, and it's just so exciting to see that come to, you know, fruition in people. Um, and of course there's lots of other projects and opportunities, but I'm just a really big believer that even if you have your own little niche and it's working for you, then there's always a much wider audience in other ways, and I'm sure you're all aware of that, but... The, the, the leverage opportunities are amazing and sometimes it takes somebody to sort of kick you up the butt really to get you to do that and that's uh, that's what I am I'm a kind of um, butt kicker <laughs>